Okay, uh, so now that we are comfortable with Ubuntu operating system and now we know that how we can install it, how we can uh, work uh, with a couple of different customizations like changing the themes, colors, uh, and other layout uh, settings, uh, it's time that we move ahead and uh, try to dive into more technical things. So in this lecture, we are going to be uh, working with Snap installation package that comes in uh, Ubuntu operating system. So for example, if you just go ahead and try to open up your Firefox via web browser, so uh, hey, you can see that it's taking a lot of time to load up, right? Uh, so that's uh, actually because of Snap installation or package manager. Uh, because whenever you install something, it tries to build up a lot of cache and build up uh, other uh, applications at the backend. Uh, and because of that, it just, uh, you know, takes uh, so much time to load things. Uh, but uh, there are way, there's a way that we can avoid it. Uh, and uh, the way is that we will uninstall uh, this Firefox from Snap and we will install it again without a snap there are other uh, options available as well uh, i mean to avoid using snap uh, package manager and one of them is called flat pack and uh, we may see that uh, how we can work with it but in this lecture we will just simply go ahead and uh, reinstall this mozilla firefox web browser and it will uh, help us to demonstrate that how you can uh, uninstall a certain app uh, and reinstall it uh, without snap right so uh, i mean if you in the future if you want to uh, remove something you can do it uh, like this so uh, what will actually happen is uh, here you can see that it took a lot of time to load this mozilla firefox right so we'll just simply go ahead and close this and the, i'll uh, you know i'll open up this text file that i've created and it contains all the uh, commands that i need uh, to uninstall the firefox first and then reinstall it without snap so uh, uh, let me let me just quickly show you that what I mean by snap if I'll just go ahead uh, here and let's say I will type software uh, and I'll go here to Ubuntu softwares uh, so here let's see if I just go ahead and click on this package that, that I want to install uh, of course it's gonna take some time uh, here you can see uh, it's telling me that this Postman software is offered by Snap Store, right? So it's it's really a secure thing. It's a very good package manager, but sometimes it takes a lot of uh, you know time to load up things. So if you want to uh, avoid that, just follow these steps. So we'll just open up our uh, terminal here, and we'll just copy paste these commands. I will. Uh, move my terminal here so you can all see all these commands I'll just copy this command from here and uh, I'll paste it here uh, and by the way you can get all these commands from this article right here just go to this article and uh, the writer has described everything in detail so don't worry about this just go ahead and use your snap package manager remember before we were using apt package manager right but now we're using snap because this firefox has been installed uh using snap so i'll just go ahead and run this uh, of course i'm doing this uh, as a super user privileges uh, so i'll just go ahead and enter the password to verify that i am a super user uh, and after that it'll just disconnect everything all the packages all the dependencies uh, that the firefox is using uh, and after disconnecting them it will just uninstall it So of course it's gonna take some time. So what I'll do, I'll just fast forward the video uh, to I mean end of the processing that it's doing, and then after that we'll just go ahead and perform the rest of the uh, rest of the steps that we need to uh, reinstall and configure our Firefox.
Okay, so now you can see that uh, Firefox has been uh, removed from our uh, laptop and here on the left hand side you can also see that there is no, uh, uh, the icon of Firefox is no more here, right? So what we will do is just go ahead and run this command. So uh, what this command is actually doing is uh, it's adding the repository of Mozilla team to our Ubuntu. So we'll just go ahead and paste this and we'll just hit enter. And again, it's, it will take some time uh, to process and I'll fast forward the video. Just go ahead and hit enter and it will just uh, start adding the repositories to your Ubuntu. Uh, let's just uh, make this window a little bit bigger so we can see. Uh, we can see it more clearly. Okay, so here you can see that all the processing has been done and this right here is, these are exactly the same warnings that we discussed in the previous uh, lecture. In your case, you will not see them, so don't worry, this is not an error, these are just, uh, just warnings. So what actually happened is that it added the repository to Ubuntu and then it updated uh, our, uh, our operating system. So that's just, uh, that's the only thing that that has happened. What I'll do, I'll just go ahead and clear this uh, so we don't have uh, too much mess here. After that, just go ahead and copy all of this command together. It's not a line by line thing. You have to copy this, all, all of this together and then paste it here and then run. Okay, so here what you're telling it that uh, the next time you will, you will be installing a Mozilla Firefox, you're telling your laptop that prioritize, uh, I mean, uh, this uh, uh, link that we have added to the repository, right? Now in the next step, uh, of course, over the time, your Firefox will, uh, will be, you know, getting updates and you want those updates uh, to be embedded in your Firefox, right? And you don't, you don't want uh, to go on the internet and do it yourself. So in order to uh, perform self-update, uh, this is, uh, we are writing this command, right? So the, uh, these are unattended upgrades. You don't have to, uh, you know, do them manually. So just go ahead and enter it. And after that, what you have to do is just uh, install your sudo, uh, your Firefox through sudo right so uh just go ahead and enter this and your firefox will be installed just go ahead and hit y and hit install okay so now you can see that our firefox has been installed in ubuntu we'll just uh, uh you know let's just go here we will uh, you know click on this menu and we'll see that if our uh Firefox has been installed or not. And here you can see that our Firefox has been installed in the system. If I'll just click here. Here you can see it loaded up so quickly as compared to it loaded uh, before, right? Before it took so long uh, to get loaded. But now, uh, because we skipped the snap version of uh, Firefox and installed it without snap, uh, it loaded up very quickly. So that's how you can speed up your uh, computer.